Alright, so today I'm going to check out something new. Uh, I've been using WordPress since uh, 2011. That's about seven, eight years now. And uh, there's something that came out uh, just last year towards the end. Classic Press released the uh, version one of uh, their software. And this is uh, meant to be something that's uh, focused with the business community. Uh, let's say if you use your, your blog for, for, for making some money, uh, if you use it for e-commerce, and uh, version one has been really stable, uh, having forked uh, WordPress 4.9. Uh, so this doesn't have any Gutenberg in it, it doesn't have the block editor or what you call it. So I'm going to show you how you can download this and use it maybe on your local server. So what you need to do is just download a uh, classic press from uh, the website. And this takes us to where you can download classic press. And then finally it takes you to GitHub and the GitHub repo, all you need to do is just scroll down to the source code and just hit uh, the classic press uh, version. So we are ready to download this. So we see it's a uh, classic press version 1.01. Uh, just a few changes, minor changes were added to version 1 just to include security and so we have our download ready right here. So what I'm going to do is uh, just head over to my local server, uh, my local server in the htdocs. I'm going to get a version 1 of classic press right here and then just copy it over. Uh, so the next thing that I'm going to do is extract this. So I'll unzip this and it's going to give me a folder which I'm just going to call gallery for now. I'm going to be creating our plugin uh, called gallery. So when you go into the gallery you have the same old file file structure as WordPress had. You have WP content, the includes, admin, and of course you have your plugins and themes inside there. But for now there's nothing in the plugins folder because uh, there's no Jetpack and there's no Hello Dolly uh, plugins coming with Classic Press. And in the themes, um, the default themes that we had, that is 2015, 2017, 2016 from WordPress, have been uh, forked over and then child themes of Classic Press have been made from those. So uh, if you're going to the back end, you're going to be able to see that. And of course, all the other files that we do need, like the sample config file, is right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my local host and go to the PHP my admin. So when I go into the PHP my admin in the databases, I'm just going to create a database and call it gallery. And then uh, once that is ready, all I need to do is now access my URL on the local server and I'll hit uh, the gallery uh, point and we are ready. So these are the few languages that have been translated with Classic Press. And you can contribute to this by going over to Classic Press and, and, and finding out how to help out. So I'll just hit continue. And then right here, I'm just going to change this to gallery because that's my database. I have my root and root as my basic um, uh, password and username. Then I'll leave this at your local host. Then I'll leave the prefix as this and then I'll just continue right here. So once I'm done here, I'm going to just call this a uh, lightbox gallery. I'm going to give this a username of just gallery and I'll just use something that is a uh, hidden uh, for my local password. I'll use confirm and then I'll just add a simple email and then I'll just click to install uh, classic press on my local server. And this gives me a green light. We're ready to go. And I'm just going to log in for gallery to see what's happening inside Classic Press. Once I'm logged in, uh, you realize that it's the uh, same build as what you had with uh, WordPress. It functions well, it functions stable. Um, you see there is a little welcome notice and you can see what Classic Press is all about, uh, how they are thinking about introducing and growing the community. And then uh, the security releases that are, are coming through, uh, credits and freedoms and privacy and whatever goodness is there. A uh, few things that have changed uh, from what we had as WordPress. Uh, we see, we still have the quick draft and at a glance, but we have something here called a classic press news. So you can read more of the stories coming through. 
and I see something here called a classic press petitions. Remember I told you that classic press is really built on a foundation of uh, being community centered. So there's a lot of democracy that is being fronted. So you can see some of the topics that uh, most people have been sharing and feel like these need to actually be going into the core. So you can see those that have got the best votes so far, uh, they have been upticked all through. So if you click on one, let's say this, uh, you'll find greater details about that particular post. So you'll see the discussions going on from a number of people. And you can also post your own petition by signing in and then starting up a topic of discussion. However, you'll see that these have been planned and scheduled for for what work to start. Uh, right now, Classic Press is on 5.6 as a minimum PHP version, but they look forward to making a uh, 7.0 or later uh, of PHP version as the minimum. Um, Classic Press also would like to focus on security, so by bumping up the PHP version, we see that uh, a lot is going to go into uh, security fixes when the PHP version is raised. So these are some of the things that are in Classic Press, but everything else just looks the same. The functionality is the same. Uh, we see everything is just going on right. So you have the themes, uh, you can actually switch them if you want to, and they'll still reflect. So if we go on our front end, we'll be able to see the same old, good old software that we once knew and it's good and ready for usage. So this is Classic Press, feel free to try, to try it out. I'm going to be working with us on a plugin that I, I want to test and see if uh, what we've always had as functionality is still going on. So check out Classic Press, go download it. Uh, if you have WordPress, you can, have, you can also convert your Classic Press uh, from, from your, your WordPress to Classic Press, and I'll be showing you how to do that. Uh, in the next video that's coming up.